Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will be learning about the web query in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you're a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is web query in Excel. Now you might be wondering what exactly is web query so you all know that excel is a brilliant data analytics and business intelligence tool right so it requires some data to be stored or some data to be analyzed right that creates as an opportunity for the sources so don't think that excel is something where you just you know copy paste the data and that's how it stores or you need to manually enter the data no it can get connected to a various and wide variety of data sources ranging from a simple file, database, CSV and Microsoft Access, data analysis services and many more and including web, right? Now there might be a case where you are, you know, interested in getting the data from a direct web page which is dynamic. For example, you might be interested in stock market right and you wanted to you know take the data which is dynamic directly from the stock market right so is it possible for excel to take and store the dynamic data yes you can do it so now here we are on the stock market india website and let's get into the most active stocks table click on that and you are navigated to the most active shares in india currently now select the URL of this particular web page, get back to your, get back to your Excel and here on the data button in the toolbar you can see from text CSV from web, right? So let's uh, select the get data option from other sources from web. You can either choose this or feel free to choose this as well over here. So let's go to web and here you might want to place your URL, paste the URL and press OK and uh, you will have some time connecting to the server give it some time now while we are at it let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on microsoft excel and also a lot more technologies in the current it industry so if you want to get updated on all the technologies in the current it market then make sure that you subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from simply learn now you can see that we are successfully connected to the data and you can see various data tables over here. So for example, let's select on the table zero. So all this data is the current active and dynamic data from the website we selected. So let's just press on load to load just one table as of now and see how it works. So the data is loading again. We might have to give a little time for the data to load onto the Excel spreadsheet. Now you can see the data has been successfully loaded and all the details that is the company name, highest price, lowest price, last price, change percentage and the value in crores, everything has been updated including the 5 day performance, right? Now you can, you know, hide this because it's a lot of information to grasp altogether. Now here you can see all the data has been currently stored onto the Excel spreadsheet. Now you might be wondering if this particular data is valid or if this particular data is really dynamic or not, right? So to answer that question, let's see to the data option again. And here you can see the refresh button. So click on refresh all and you can see there is a query running in the background from the web, right? So here you can see running background query. So this will run a query and the numbers will be updated. So let's remember any one of the numbers, maybe they might be. So I'll take a quick glance here and try to remember the numbers. We can take a screenshot and after the query has successfully run, you can see some changes in the numbers, right? So maybe some numbers are changed here since we have finished our query. So that's how the web query in Excel works with the dynamic data. I hope the session was interesting and informative. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning.
Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.